Vladimir Putin and Kim Jong-un vow to aid each other if either country is attacked. Vladimir Putin and Kim Jong-un have vowed to aid each other if either's country is attacked. The mutual defense clause is part of a comprehensive strategic partnership the pair signed in a bid to unite against the U.S. The Russian leader, who is visiting North Korea for the first time in 24 years, claimed the agreement is defensive and peaceful in nature. Russian state media said Mr. Putin spoke to Mr. Kim face to face for about two hours and thanked him for his country's support for the war in Ukraine. The Kremlin chief was treated to a lavish ceremony when he arrived in the North Korean capital on Wednesday. Huge crowds lined the streets in Pyongyang to greet the motorcade, chanting welcome Putin and waving flowers in North Korean and Russian flags. International concern has grown over an arrangement in which North Korea provides Russia with badly needed munitions in exchange for economic aid and technology transfers that could enhance Pyongyang's nuclear weapons and missile program. Mr. Kim said the fiery friendship was now even closer than during Soviet times and promised full support and solidarity to the Russian government, army and people in carrying out the special military operation in Ukraine to protect sovereignty, security interests and territorial integrity. He also hailed Russia's important role and mission in preserving the strategic stability and balance in the world. The situation in the world is exacerbating and changing rapidly. In this situation, we intend to strengthen strategic interaction with Russia, Mr. Kim said. The UK's Defence Secretary Grant Shapps described the scenes in Pyongyang on Wednesday as bizarre. He added, a new axis of tyranny is working to undermine our freedoms. North Korea is under heavy sanctions from the United Nations Security Council of which Russia is a member over its weapons program. Russia faces sanctions by the U.S. and its Western partners over its aggression in Ukraine. The two leaders also exchanged gifts, with Mr. Kim reportedly receiving a Russian-built limousine, a tea set and an admiral's dirk, dagger, and President Putin being given various works of art. The visit comes after a major assault by Russian forces on the Ukrainian stronghold city of Kharkiv has faltered amid heavy losses. There is belief that Kyiv's defenders, racked by ammunition shortages for months, could eventually be back on the front foot as more Western weapons including F-16 fighter jets arrive in Ukraine.